Hey, look, I did it. You did it. <laughs> I'm really proud of you. I pressed the button too soon. That's fine. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Cold EXP. We're a channel here over on Plus One EXP. I'm reading off a script. My name is Keegan, and I'm the, the content necromancer and a cult leader here at Plus Hi, One. Hi, yeah, and I'm Sarah. I'm the high-level monk and fellow cult leader of the cult. Uh, that's what they do. Yeah, Plus One's a weird little brand that multi-classes in tabletop game design, beard, and skincare alchemy, and the Bardic College of Content Creation. The dream and hope here at Plus One is to help amazing, de amazing designers. God damn it, Sarah, I'm turning into you. <laughs> find great players who love their games and help amazing players find great designers whose games they can love. And today we're playing Triangle Agency. Yes, thank oh, you. Hi, can you, uh, Tyler, can you tell people who you are? Can you tell us a little bit about Triangle Agency, where they can find it? You know Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh... I am Caleb Zane Hewitt. I'm one of the developers of Triangle Agency, which is a game of corporate bureaucracy and paranormal investigation. Uh, we are going to be doing our very first public playtest of this. This Delta test kit uh, is out on itch for pay what you want. Uh, Haunted Table Games is the name of my studio, and Triangle Agency is very easy to search. Uh, and I hope you will also test it and give us some feedback from your home games Whoa, to help us develop the final game. Nice! And we're live at PAX. I don't think we said that, but there's oh, an announcement yeah. going yeah. right now that... We are, we're reminded of our, our masks and our vaccines. It's a mask requirement. It's, it's great. It's so wonderful. we're just going to wait for him to stop talking because he's very loud again. Very loud. Oh, God. What if it was like, Taylor, your mom's here to pick you up? <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassing. Oh, I God. Am, That's so your introduction. Can, this is a recording, right? Like, it's not like a guy. It's a recording. It's a recording. It yeah. super is. But I kind of wish that it wasn't. So it could just be like, Taylor, you need to come pick up this hyper-specific item. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You dropped your butt medicine. <laughs> and speaking of Taylor, I am so excited to have you here. <laughs> nice rib shot. Yes. <laughs> very very good. Good. I'm very excited yeah. to have you here, and that is a pun. Oh, thanks. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Would you like me to introduce you? I'm happy to do it. Uh, well, go ahead. Yes. So this is Taylor Moore, <laughs> uh, producer at Fortunate Horse, uh, lately making some incredible music as well <laughs> as uh, creating the podcast Through Tales of Magic and Oh, These, Those Stars of Space. And Fun City. And Fun City. Love uh, available anywhere you can get podcasts. And also on Patreon, you can support them, which I do all the time. <gasps> oh, and we love to see it. <laughs> to be seen, to be introduced. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much for having me. I'm so excited to play the game. Yeah, this is going to be a blast. <laughs> All right, so let's play this game. Yes, okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump right in. I have made you pre-made characters, but one of my favorite parts of this game is the relationship system. Okay. So guess what? We are building nine characters right now in probably Woo! about five minutes. Um, so each of you... Uh, I have a soundboard, and I'm a nightmare with it. Correct. So I want to start with some introductions of who you are and talk a little bit about the group of you, uh, and then we will move from there to talking about the relationships, and I'll explain what those are. Uh, do you have a good enough sense of who your character is that you could introduce them to us right now? Um, just the I person. I can if you'd like me to. Yes. If you want, just the person. Do sure, it. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, my name is Coral, uh, C O R L, uh, <laughs> Powder Milk. Uh, okay. I, I used to be a merman. I am no longer a merman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into this. I, yeah. What do you want, like, further character details? That's great. <laughs> You're okay. no longer a merman. Uh, and Coral Powdermilk, uh, in the creation of your character, you answer three questions that if we imagine that our cast is, like, the main cast of a television show, yes. these are the recurring side characters that are most important to your character and will come up the most. Uh, for you, we've already answered a couple of these questions, but we have sure. to name them and assign them to other people at the table. Okay. So the first question for you is, who taught you to hide among the people? And the answer to your question right now is a fisherman's wife. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and so, so, my, so my question is, who would you like to cast as the fisherman's wife? Uh, I would love for you to be my fisherman's wife. All right. I'd yeah. love to. Okay, so Keegan is going to be the fisherman's wife, which means, Keegan, will you tell us the name of the fisherman's wife? And you can just give us a vague, a very short description of her. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm great at naming things. Okay. Can her name be Greta? Thank you. Greta. <laughs> We've got Greta. And then what kind of fisherman's wife are we talking? Uh, she is haggard. Haggard. She is old. She is weathered. I love she Greta. She has seen things. <laughs> and done things. <laughs> Incredible. Yes, that's plenty. Perfect. Uh, and we can develop any more we need to later. Your second question is, who came from the same place as you? And in this case, Ooh. we've answered your sibling, who was also a merperson, who has followed you here. 
So who would you like to cast as your sibling? Come on. I will do this for you. Yes. yes. All right. Okay, so Sarah is going to be the sibling. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then what is the name of this your, So you Coral? Coral. Without an A. Without an A. Um, I want to be an enemy. Yes. Okay, <laughs> are we cutting every vowel? Nimini. Nimini? Nimini. Nimini. I'm Nimini. Nimini. Fuck yeah. That's great. Yeah, the A is the one that's gone, so that's perfect. Yeah. Uh, And then describe Nimini to me. Are you going really young? Are you going, like, similar age? What are you thinking? I'm going to go, I'm going to go, like, I'm a kid sibling. Child sibling. All right. Yeah, I'm a kid sibling. And you've you've gone off, and you're like not a merman anymore, or whatever. But like, I cannot be a merman too. Yeah. Do you have like a temporary legs visa, or are you like, are you? No. <laughs> did you get a curse from a witch? What are you doing? Ooh, I a hundred percent. I a hundred percent like. Uh, I maybe I'm not like a kid. I'm like a teenager. Okay. And I had a friend from school that like could totally like school. Yeah, school. They could get me like a a, a a a fake leg badge, if that makes sense. Yes, yes. So I have a, I have a fake. I I was given these things, but I and I'm. If someone looks closely, they're obviously not your legs. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Hundred <laughs> percent. And then the last relationship is uh, the person that you want to teach about your former life, which is uh, in this case we have the Olympic diver you have a crush on. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm the only one left, so that's going to be me. Uh, and so I'm going to put played by Caleb. Uh, and for this Olympic diver, I think I want to go full, uh, like, um, uh, bro stoner, like extremely... Yes, okay. uh, ex- you could just say Michael Phelps. That's right, cool. Right, exactly. Yes, we're going for Michael Phelps vibes. Um, so a bro stoner uh, who is oh, uh, training... One second. Oh, you're good. You're good. Keep talking. Our camera has moved somehow. Oh, whoa. <laughs> it bumped. So I'm going to open the camera app. And wiggle it around. Yeah, I'm just... We're doing this live. It's fine. Uh, and his name is going to be uh, Jordan. Okay. Uh, Jordan. Jordan, period. That's the Just it. Just Jordan. It. Okay, so I want to move on now from uh, Coral Powder Milk to our next character, played by uh, you. Yes. Uh, Sarah, you are playing uh, a former president of the United States. Jesus. Who can be either, uh, and I want to be, be clear, these are not things in the book, these are just things that you can create out of the character pieces. The things that we got uh, yours from is the reality called Creature, which means you are someone who is inhuman and has specific compulsions related to the fact that they're no longer human. Yes. Your reality is Star, and we've mm-hmm. chosen that the reason you're famous is because you were once a president yes. of the United States. Yes. Now, have you made a fictional president? Uh, yeah, I am former president Laramie Fitz. Laramie Fitz. All right. Uh, That's a great name. Yes. I'm really good at it. <laughs> That's why every time I have to do a name, I'm like, yeah, a name? Sarah. <laughs> How recently were you president, do you think? Like, are you very old, or are you, like, you, you were, like, the youngest president ever, and you just got out? I was an impeached president, okay. certainly. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Certainly. Wonderful. Impeached. Uh, and then I want to ask, I forgot to ask about you. Uh, what pronouns are we using for your character? Oh, he, him is fine. Great. Yeah. And then what about for yours? Uh, he, days. Cool. Uh, and then for your relationships, the first one is who is your greatest rival? And right now we have cast a YouTuber. So there's a political YouTuber that has managed to make your current uh, life very difficult. Who would you like to cast as the YouTuber? It can't be Keegan, because Keegan is constantly antagonistic. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's a right answer, and you're not going to take it's it. Too much, it's too much, but we can't. Would you please be my nemesis? Yes, All sure. Right. Thank you. So, Taylor, what's the name of this YouTuber? Uh, the name of the YouTuber is going to be uh, Fun Mike. Fun Mike. Oh, no. Larry Fun Larry Mike and it's M-I-C. And Fun no. Mike. No, no, no. It's not short for, it is short for Fun Michael. <laughs> Outside of the YouTube, it must be Fun Michael. Uh, and then uh, just give me, yeah, give me vibes. The description of Fun Mike. Oh, what is uh, the style? Fun Mike. Fun Mike is a six and a half foot tall uh, politics streamer that spends twelve hours a day okay. in the chair looking at news and talking to uh, his fans. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, gorgeous. I yes. assume. Yeah. yeah Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the next one is the person who used to be your chief of staff has stayed on as your personal manager. And that's going to be Keegan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. What's my name, Sarah? Uh, your name is Sal. Sal. Sal, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, and then give me some of Sal's vibe. 
God, I think I just have a type because my immediate thought was also old, <laughs> haggard. <laughs> I think, so here's the thing. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, let's mix it up. Yeah, let's mix it up. Um, so Sal here, young, mm-hmm. hungry. Young, hungry. Yeah. Um, very much was like attached his name to your campaign early. Yes. And then you got impeached. It's like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, there's my career. I'm 24. My career's yes. over. Yes. <laughs> it can't be, though. You hired a 24-year-old chief of staff, well, and that's here's the amazing. Thing, I was, like, 18 at the time. <laughs> yes, you had to have been. Um, I'd like to plead the fifth. <laughs> was Sal related to you? No. No. I don't think just... so. <laughs> perfect, perfect. I think I did, like, a, 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 a campaign at a high school or something, and Sal showed me where the bathroom was, and I was like, that kid's going places. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sal you got the goods, kid. Sal was the campaign manager for the school president. <laughs> yes. 100%. But I was just there. You got jealous and poached. You, show, you showed me the way to the bathroom, and I'm like, that guy. And then no the stuff. last one, the last one for you is who remains from your former life before you were president, and that leaves me... Playing your mother. I love this so much. Your name is Cheyenne for sure. Perfect. <laughs> I love that. I'm Cheyenne. Uh, and I was also president. <laughs> You're yes! from a line law. Wow. I was line another former politics. president. Wow. You can do anything with imagination. Yeah, isn't that, I isn't love that wild? This. I, this is why I love games like just period. Take a hike, books. Get out of here. <laughs> and now uh, we are going to go finally over to your character, Keegan. Your character is an exec in charge of photography at a, a homeopathic medicine company that has uh, specializes in crystals. Why did it do it again? How okay. strange. Okay. It's, it loves to lo- do a little pan. It really does. Like I have a gimbal control button. I can just click position too. And it'll put it back in the right place. But then it wants but to go see. But at what cost? It has cost. some sort of motion control. It's like a weird AI camera. And I think I'm wiggling. Someone must be doing something that's causing it to pan left constantly. But I don't know what it is because I've never learned the motion control. The I camera think- loves me. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. So. <clears throat> so you are playing an exec in charge of photography. What's uh-huh. your name? You said I used to do homeopathic medicine. Right? That's the company you work for right now. Is yeah. You, you okay, handle okay, photography okay. for the homeopathic medicine company. Great, great. So I have a name, but I'm not going to tell you what it actually was. Okay. And I will tell you that everyone just calls me Rain Sparkle. Rain Sparkle. And what pronouns are we using for uh, Rain she, Sparkle? Her. All for right. sure. <laughs> So, Rain Sparkle, your reality is overbooked, which means that you refused to give up your other job when you gained the agency position. So, it's always still uh, weighing heavily on you. Um, and your characters, uh, your relationships are first, who is your other boss? And in this case, we've chosen the VP of Marketing, the person okay. who's fully in charge. So, who would you like to cast as the VP of Marketing? I feel like you'd be a good VP of Marketing. Great. I'm happy to do it. Uh, and my name is going to be John. Good, okay, John. Good. This is good. He handles I, the marketing, and he knows nothing about anything that's being sold. Yeah, he that feels right for a guy named people. John at the homeopathic medicine company. In terms yes. of marketing, he has no idea how to sell this product. Yes. <laughs> at uh, all. Knows nothing they're selling, um, but is very serious about sales. Uh, and then the next one is, who are you in charge of? You have a photography team, so who is your like lead photographer? Taylor, that could be you. All right. <laughs> Played by Taylor. Taylor, name and vibe. Uh, British. Um, a- another extremely good-looking character. British, I hot. Only wow, we have a hot type. People. I'm going to be hot every character. Yeah. You can do anything you want. Yeah. <laughs> Why not be hot? Imagination is truly wonderful. <laughs> Sometimes you can even do what you already live every day. Yes. Yeah. Uh, hot photographer, fine. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, English and hot. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. English and hot. Is that the name? English Put hot. down hot. Hot. Relationship oh. name, hot. Uh, and then finally, uh, I love hot. Finally, it's who cares the most about your health, and we have chosen your hot rock climber boyfriend. Uh, Sarah, you're <laughs> who I would have chosen. Yes. <laughs> so Sarah, who is this hot rock climber boyfriend? Uh, so we have Rain Sparkle, and I'm gonna be. Um... I got you. Hit me. Your brick. Yes. I brick. Am. Yes. I was thinking like canyon or like art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got you. We needed something more rugged. And yeah. do you have any surprise vibes for Brick? Uh, well, I mean, I, it says a lot. Brick's like, what's the thing? A rock climber? Yes. Um, I feel like we've got it. Yeah, yeah like, that's it. It's a rock climber named Brick. I refuse. Yeah. It's, it's, it describes itself. Brick Pitten. I refuse to wear like anything other than like great, like 
grays and greens of yes. a, a particular shade. That's perfect. So right now, you might notice on the camera and in front of you, we have these little standees yes. that list demerits and commendations. These are the rules of your job given to you by the agency, and they apply to your role playing. So if you ever deliver bad news in the case of the hotline, if you ever deny a request in the case of the intern, or if you ever uh, lie in the case of public relations, you receive a demerit. Those demerits are accumulated and they go on to your final performance report. Your commendations as well are things that you are looking to do. So if you, in your case, Taylor, help someone unburden themselves, take the blame, or connect someone to an unexpected fate, you will receive a commendation. Uh, these are also uh, in your final report and in ultimately can be spent over several sessions on purchasing uh, requisitions from the company and demerits will eventually earn you punishments from the company. These apply get... to all of your actions when you are on or off the mission clock. So in the scenes we're about to start with, these rules do apply. Um, so keep in mind that I am always watching. Uh, so with that, I think we can actually jump straight in. Let me grab... Uh, I am going to write my name down on this because oh, yes, I will forget do. my own shit. Now, and, we, just, we, 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 just, we just sort of rafted down some class five rapids of proper nouns. Um, yes. Okay, yeah. Just want to just check in with everybody about that. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. What's good about this is you don't even really need to know right now. That rules. I will be assigning you these points, and you don't have to really worry about them. Oh, love it. Uh, and we will get into how the actual rules play once we get there, but for the first thing, we are going to take the characters we've just built, and we are going to do the first phase of your mission, which is called personal time. This is uh, the scenes we are setting up before the agency has actually asked you to begin. Okay. Um, so I would like to start uh, following Coral Powder Milk, uh, and I would like you... <laughs> okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, Coral Powder Milk, you and I are going to be doing this scene, because I'm going to put you with uh, Jordan, the Olympian. Uh, and we are at uh, the Turnian City. That's where we are going to be, Turnian City. At the Turnian City uh, Public Pools, where that have a really nice uh, Olympic lap pool that he goes for his sort of off time that you know you can go there to find Jordan. Uh, I am swimming. What are you doing? Uh, I am sitting on a bench and watching you unabashedly. <laughs> Staring directly at me. I'm swimming. I've got beautiful rippling muscles. I've got this, this gorgeous form. Uh, I step out and see you. Uh, and then I look away and I check my time. Hey. Huh? Hey. Oh. It's me, Coral. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey, Coral. Oh, my gosh. It's great to see you. I Great laps. Why don't you ever swim? Oh, uh, I, chlorine bothers me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah. I, uh, I get that a lot. You know, you, they make, like, goggles and masks. Oh, no, it's a skin thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm more of a lake, pond, beach <laughs> kind of guy. No, totally. Yeah, no, totally. You'd, be, you'd be great at the beach, too, I feel like. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it's great. I just, I actually, like, am allergic to sunscreen. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. So most of my swimming well, you is you go at night. Yeah, that's a really good idea. I hear, I mean, like, I hear that people sometimes, like, die if they swim, like, at night. People die all the time for all sorts of reasons. <laughs> what, what, would, what would you say is your least favorite reason? Whoa. Uh, I, gosh. I would say my least favorite reason is probably, like, I wouldn't want to be, like, in a desert, <gasps> like, so dry that I would, like, and, and hungry that I just, like, dehydrate and, like, I'm, like, a husk left there preserved in the sand. <laughs> I lay awake at night, afraid of that. <laughs> I've never heard someone else articulate it in that way before, but that also terrifies me to be dry. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty smart. I think I pretty much get along with... Uh, we should hang out. We should, sure. we should get out of this pool sometime. Go down, go down to the beach. Go at night. So at night, sometimes the crabs come up. The crabs, they love night. you got to meet these crabs. Uh, not all of them are great, but, like, the vibe is good with crabs. And go to the beach at night, just, like, have some swim. Because I think if we swam together, I think we'd have a lot of... Because I think the waves add a degree of... Yeah, yeah. all of that is, all of that is very normal to me, I and I would love to do yeah. it. No, 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 please, yeah. please. Okay. I would love to do yeah. it. My, my, uh, my question is, though... Um, <laughs> Uh, are you free in like a month and a half because I just got this brand new sponsorship deal and I'm going to be super busy for a while. This company, actually, Natural Harmonies, they've made this whole big thing about how I am going to get paid to just like wear their rocks around, like uh, 
Yeah, promote them. Wow. I'm super excited about just it. Just to wear some rocks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got well, actually I've got one in my bag right here. I think I have some extras. Do you want uh here, this one. It holds up like a like a pink crystal. Oh yeah. You. I examined the shit out of that crystal. <laughs> what does it, it have a vibe? It it has it has a vibe of something that is probably actually plastic. Uh but it <laughs> but it looks uh very glittery and sparkly and beautiful. Oh, yeah. That sucks. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you know, I have to sponsor them, so I'm doing my best. And I feel like once I put it on, it's kind of <laughs> elevated, right? No, it's, it looks great on you. Uh, and then you get a call on your phone at that exact second. Ah! <laughs> oh, sorry, just got a new ringtone, and I'm not used to it yet. Oh no, it's it's totally fine. Yeah. That happens to me every time I. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you check your phone, and there is a text message from your general manager at the agency, me, Caleb Zane Hewitt, and it says, <laughs> <laughs> and it says, hello, uh, your team is being organized immediately. I need you to head to, and it lists an address for you. Oh, shit. Jordan. You know, I actually have time right now. I was just realizing. Uh, I feel like we're really hitting it off, and this is entirely my fault. But I have to go. Oh, wait, no. No, no, we were hitting it off because I was doing a good job. Oh, <laughs> well, great news. I think you were doing a great job. And uh, great news, you don't have to be the one to end this. Yo, okay. All right. Uh, sweet. So, month and a half? Six weeks. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's the same. That's the same, I think. Calendars are a little. <laughs> but yeah, I can do it. Okay, great. I'll see you then. Unless one of those months is February. Uh, one month and a half, next month, month after that. No, it's July. Okay, great. <laughs> Human calendars. <laughs> Love them and leave them. I don't know, whatever. Okay, uh, I, I got to go. Take it easy. Yeah, see you soon. Six weeks. Yeah. All right. And then uh, we are going to move the camera over to uh, <laughs> Laramie Fitz. So, Laramie... Uh, I am going to actually put you in a conversation with your manager, the, uh, the chief of staff. The two of you are in what you've been using as a meeting room. What is that for you? It's an IHOP. <laughs> We're sitting in this IHOP, uh, and you're, you guys are devising your plan uh, going forward for your next campaign. Go for it. I just... Look, Laramie, I want to be honest with you. Look, I know you're trying to be president. I get it. I understand. But I don't after what you did. I don't understand why I can't talk about butt stuff. You butt stuff all the time. It's like, we're going to go do this thing, but. And it's <laughs> the stuff that happens afterwards. I don't understand why right. you're so mad. I'm just trying to say that I'm willing to improvise. Mm hmm I'm willing to yeah, no, figure the, out a solution. And right. sometimes it's not yes, but sometimes it's butt stuff. Right, but the issue is when you call someone a douche and then start talking about butt stuff. A, do you understand the implication, Lorraine? I understand that you're mad at me. No, I... And I understand... The problem is I'm not mad at you, Lorraine. I'm mad at myself. My name is Laramie. Lar <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me, pour in some coffee. Me. Pour in some coffee for y'all. I'm sorry. Here you are. He looks like a Lorraine, right? Um. Yeah, I could see Lorraine. Thank I you. See We're Larry. good. Thank I, you. All right, all right. Well, here's, here's your coffee. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so in my in my defense, that's not really my fault. So I just need to understand why I can't talk about butt stuff. I know you want to move on. But this is important to me. Because it's important no, and that my see, constituents understand. You that see, the voters understand. Yeah, no, that the, I am very into butt stuff. <laughs> Laramie, if we were running, if we were running in California, I could, we could kill this. The issue is we're running in Utah. <laughs> and it's just, it's a really conservative. Mm -hmm. And they don't, they don't care about stuff. Let's phrase it that way. Who doesn't like stuff? Stuff's all that there is. We're 
It's stuff feeds the capitalist machine that then fills my pockets with hot dollars. Right, no, and if you were phrasing it that way, I'm 100% certain I could get you voted in Utah. Hmm. The issue is when you keep calling it butt stuff in Utah. Sal, you take a sip of your coffee, and the coffee she just poured in front of you, as you sip, a leaf catches in your mouth. I feel like I'll stop talking about butt stuff. You should talk about this leaf. Why don't we what why, why don't we change the subject? I think we've made it as far as we are today. Leaves. Are you one of them? Are you one of them kinds? Always smoking the green. Brr, brr. You have received a text message on your phone. Thank God. An order from the agency. I pull out my flip phone. Your, <laughs> your flip phone. The text message takes a really long time to read. Mm -hmm. You're scrolling it's, down the whole thing. Sal knows I've increased the font to like 500. So literally it's just like a single word. <laughs> and like I have to press multiple times to scroll. <laughs> you need to come to this address now. Signed your general manager, Caleb Zane Hero. I am 37 years old. Sal, do you drive for Laramie? I mean, I guess. <laughs> Great. So Sal is going to be driving you uh, to the location that you've both received, and we are going to go directly to Rain Sparkle. Rain Sparkle, you are doing a, a brand new uh, photo shoot being run by your hot British photographer. Uh, <laughs> Who currently does not have a name that we'll discover. No, it's, it's hot. 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 Okay, it's is hot. Okay. It's hot, <laughs> yeah. By hot, your British photographer. Uh, and the two of you are doing a new photo shoot intended to smooth over the fact that the brand new headquarters that, uh, that Natural Harmonies is going to build is going to pave over the oldest tree in Turnian City, known as the Old Oak. Your responsibility is to sh put on a photo shoot outside of your current headquarters that emphasizes how nice it's going to be to pave over that tree. <laughs> okay, so like, what sort of angles should we be getting here? I'm thinking this entire thing, <laughs> top down. Oh, top, <laughs> why did I do that? <laughs> yeah, I'm incepting you. Oh, no. This whole thing is top down. I'm thinking we put the view in the place of a bird's eye view. That makes them feel they're in a tree, therefore you don't need a tree elsewhere. I mean, like, I could see where you're coming from. Like, I can see That's it. my job, to be seen. No, I, <laughs> I actually distinctly think your, your job is not to be seen. Mmm, love it. And, I mean, I love seeing you. Ah. I love seeing you. Don't get me wrong. I love seeing you. I, I think your job's fundamentally not being seen. Ah, oh, I love it. New interpretations, alternate theories. If, <laughs> if I'm not the avant-garde, my name's not a hot photographer. The it's model in front of the cutout standout of the tree <laughs> says, um, so what should I, what should I be doing with the tree? This, uh... I'm thinking, look, not a sh No, the tree is there. There's a big cut, There's cut, a out, big of cut out of a tree. Hate the tree. All right. You despise the tree, yes? Uh, yeah, we... We don't want to say that we despise trees. Yes. Because we're like, we're a natural brand. But like... Imagine the tree is like a friend you used to have, but you're not like really friends, but like sometimes you want to get coffee. Yes. But you're not actually gonna like show up to get it. So like how would you treat that tree? I would smile like so big and I would be like, oh my god. Yes, I love it. Hold it, hold it. Yeah. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. And then that model in front of both of your eyes explodes in blood as a tree grows out of her body. She, uh, an entire tree from a moment of nothing to suddenly there is an entire tree rooted in the ground beneath you and up above with these beautiful uh, acorn pods, uh, uh, pecan pods, uh, hanging off of it. Uh, and her body is left in pieces around the tree. Okay, well, that's gross. That was gross. Did you do that? Rain? Yeah. No. Did you hire an exploding model. No. But did you get the photo of it? Because I feel like we could, like, spin this. You hear, like, the pitter-patter of piss hitting the floor. <laughs> you receive a text message. Your text message says you're exactly where you need to be. The other two of you arrive in your cars at this location, at this exact moment, and you 
now, uh, your character, Hot, is a loose end. So one of the biggest things in Triangle Agency is that your job is to eliminate or control and change the minds of people who have seen supernatural events because they create loose ends that the agency has to deal with later. This will be a punishment for you if you do not get rid of it. The three of you know this. It's easy to see what's happening right now. You are yourself. You are also hot. Okay. And we are in this situation. Okay, so hot. Like, you're on pranked. You know, like Ashton Kutcher... As, as you're saying this, Hot is covered in gore. Like, there are, there's blood and, like, little flecks of bone just on the half of Hot's face so, like, that was facing the model. So, like, if you look towards that window over there, do you, do you see the window over there? Do you see, it has that little, if you squint, you can sort of see something inside of it. And that's actually Ashton Kutcher. And he's going to come down later and he's going to talk about it. But this, this whole model is fake. I can taste her blood in my mouth. This is a great opportunity to learn about qualities. <laughs> this is a great opportunity to take a demerit. So, oh. no. <laughs> you did lie. So we are going to start with a demerit for you. Cool, Good cool, call. Cool. Um, so you, uh, Rain Sparkle gets one demerit. And gonna we're going to talk so about qualities. Qualities are the nine things, the nine ways the agency has approved for human behavior to be done. Okay. Uh, you have points in particular qualities on your sheet. Uh, when you roll, you are not adding the stats on that. We'll talk about what happens in a minute. In this case, though, you are trying to manipulate Hot in a way that is abnormal to regular human psychology, which means you will need to ask the agency to reshape reality for you. Ooh. In this case, I would describe this as duplicity. Okay. And so I would like for you to roll 6d4. Okay. And we'll talk about what happens after you do that. Great, 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 great. I... God, D4s are hard, so hard to pick up. They are. They're very silly. I love, like them. I love them. They're my favorite they're my, I love the noise they yes. make. Wait, wait. There we go. Yes. There we go. Great. All right, so I want you to organize those into threes and not threes. All right. So, <laughs> so we have... You can't see it on camera. That's one three. That's one three, which, congratulations, is a success. Oh, However... The five things that are not threes <laughs> create chaos that okay. I can spend. Sure, 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 sure. So sure. I am going to write on my sheet now that I'm adding five chaos, and I have a series of things that I am able to spend chaos on that will make your life worse. But a success means you get to reshape reality however you would like to make this work. What would you like to do? Yeah, Ashton Kutcher's here. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, so in that moment, Ashton Kutcher steps out of the door. He's a little confused, but you have asked for it, the agency to do this thoroughly for you, and as a result, he is ready to come up to you hot, and he says, <laughs> you've been pranked. <laughs> you've done it again, Ashton. <laughs> Isn't he, like, incredible? I didn't even ask how he was going to do this, but, like... That looked really real. Yeah, and everything about it is just incredibly real. You yeah. had me. You had me completely. Yeah. You would been never sucked. know watching pranked. It's all practical effects. Yeah. Incredible. And I, Hot scrapes some of the gore and blood off his face and then licks it. It tastes like gore. Almost all of it is fondant. <laughs> oh, my God. Ashton, you're so funny. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Now, I have a couple more pranks to do today. You should take a shower, man. You do not smell great. <laughs> Pranks twice. <laughs> that, that we got me. <laughs> that loose end has been cleared up. That was a successful roll. We don't have to mess with your stats right now because you succeeded. However, if you wanted to in the future to make a success or to make the amount of chaos that I would take lower, you can erase one of your points in the category that I said. Sure. And for the rest of the mission, you have that lower amount. Sure, 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 uh, sure. We will uh, talk about the other things as we get there, but that's the basic thing. The three of you now are here as agents. You've been brought here by the agency, and you know your job is to identify what the anomaly is in this location and to either capture or eliminate it. You, uh, <laughs> for the president, you receive a, uh, an additional text message from me that says, uh, I would like for you to go to the uh, United States Postal Service blue box nearest to you. There is a screw at the bottom of the blue box that you can unscrew, and there are two objects inside for you to grab. The agency wants us to screw some box. Okay. Larry, I know your assistant talked to you about this because he sent me a text, and, like, maybe we should... Have you tried being mute, maybe? <laughs> I feel like we could, like, 
You know what? This isn't my problem, actually. We gotta go to a mailbox and get us a screw and do some stuff. Great. Caleb, I have a question. Yeah. Is the tree still growing? The tree has stopped growing at a fully formed tree size. Sure. Normal standard tree. Normal standard mm-hmm. tree now. Mm-hmm. Okay. In the middle of the road. In the middle of the road? Large into pavement. Oh, we're outside here. Yes. Okay, yeah. I, I forgot that detail. Okay, okay. Um, uh, uh... I think that um, uh, Coral is like investigating the tree and just like rubbing it and licking it and trying to get like a scent oh, Cor- of it. Coral, that just came out of a woman. So just be a little careful maybe licking it, like bloodborne disease and stuff. It's, it's, I know it's silly. You probably shouldn't be worrying about it. But I, I mean, you wouldn't lick it. Should I not lick things that come I out of a woman? I literally just said don't lick it. Then I won't. Okay, cool. Thank you. I can go to the mailbox for you. Are you high, young man? No, not at all. Dang. We've met many times. <laughs> My name is Coral. I just was hoping you had some drugs. <laughs> I work with no. buffoons. <laughs> Laramie, Laramie's going to start, like, walking. And again, it's, like, not an old man, but it's going to do that, like, old man kind of, like, walk towards the mailbox. And like, come on. I can help. The tree appears to be normal. Yes. Yeah. Uh, And so when you find this mailbox across the street, it's very easy to pop that screw off the bottom. Mm -hmm. Inside you find two objects that are always given to you by the agency. One, the normal briefcase. The normal briefcase is the only object capable of capturing an anomaly that is exhausted or willing to enter the briefcase. Second, the ripple gun. The ripple gun looks like an old plastic uh, gun from like a sci-fi show in the 70s. Mm-hmm. It has one charge, and if you fire it at an anomaly that you can see, you will be able to eliminate it from existence. However, the agency would prefer that you capture them, and so you will receive demerits if you use the gun to eliminate the anomaly. Both are preferred to allowing the anomaly to escape. I would like to bring up for you guys now a chance to look at your abilities. Yeah. Each of you has a couple of different skills. Um, if you look at the, uh, the top right of your sheet, you will see two skills that are related to your uh, competency and your uh, reality. The top one is so going to be... Space, I'm sorry. <laughs> you got it. The top one is your reality ability. This is the thing that who you are allows you to do. The one right below that is the uh, special requisitioned object given to you by the agency that you are able to use at any time during this mission. And then the three things on the bottom are your personal anomaly abilities. These are the reason you were hired by the agency, and they are connected directly to you. You can use these at any time. Uh, They are very powerful, and their choices in rolling almost always are going to be from these skills or because you're asking the agency to reshape reality for you. Once everybody has a chance to look at those and feels okay about it, we can move on. Huh. So even down here, the the, the abilities, that is like how we channel the agency's permission to like... Yes. Or or these are inborn to us. So they are are inborn to you or connected because you bonded with an anomaly in the past. However, these are the only three ways the agency allows you to use it. I'm just reading through this and I'm so happy. (laughs) To talk a little bit about them while they're looking at it. Uh, Over here, we have uh, that Rain has the anomaly uh, known as Drain, which allows them to borrow and steal things from people or to manipulate the concept of desire. Uh, Over here, the the president has the anomaly... The gun. (laughs) Has the anomaly gun, which uh, the president gets to decide what the gun looks like. It's actually very rare that gun anomalies look like guns, but they all behave like them. The gun is the concept of destruction. They are able to eliminate things from existence. Uh, and over here, we have the, uh, the anomaly uh, catalog, which is the ability to manipulate objects and decoration in space. So uh, they are able to pull things from alternate realities and place them into the world. Does everyone feel good about their powers that they've got access to? Yeah, I'm yeah. good. Yes. Awesome. Should we say, or should we just introduce them in play? I think if they come up, we'll talk okay, about them. And if we want to talk about them later, we can. So, uh, the first thing I want to start with to introduce another thing is that I'm going to spend three chaos to do what's called a reality trigger. I get to activate the negative effect of one of your realities by spending three of the chaos points I earned from your role. Yeah, yeah. I am going to spend three on your character, Coral, and I am going to activate your compulsion, which is that you require seawater desperately. (laughs) 
Okay, 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 great. Uh, this is good. And now I, Taylor, I'm going to sort of turn this around on you, Caleb. This is not part of the game. Uh, but you did send me what my compulsion was earlier. And so I've actually prepared a gallon of salt water. No! Uh, <laughs> which you should not drink. It is, it is, uh, it's extraordinarily bad for you. Don't drink, don't drink the ocean. It's bad for you. But we're going to. We're about to get onto it. So, <laughs> Coral pulls out an ex- this exact object. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait, what were, what were Laramie's pronouns? Uh, he, they. Mr. President, I'm so sorry. I have to take a quick, just a quick break. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, it's too big. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. What was I thinking? I'll make the stream fun. I'll bring a prop. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm an idiot. But I can't stop doing it now because we just talked about it. <laughs> oh, I've done the best. I made a terrible mistake. Yeah, no, I hate this. Uh, I, you, no. Son, I don't think you should do that. <laughs> Would you like some more? No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to activate my power. <laughs> Read it to us. Yeah, to you desires a bucket. Poke a hole in it by saying, Would you like some more and roll empathy? <laughs> On a success, the target you're focusing on is very interested in more in uh, more of the last thing they enjoyed, as identified by me, uh, the holder of the character. This does not create an addiction or compulsion, but makes the thing, if available, into leverage or distraction far beyond its work. All right. Roll it, roll. No, you gotta roll. Oh, you gotta roll, you gotta roll. So roll, you're rolling empathy, which means you roll this, and we see what happens, and then you can adjust it if you'd like. So, how many threes do we have? A lot. Four. Three. Three threes. That's four. Oh, that's a four. So, right. three, three threes, threes is actually a special case. That's called transcendence. So, transcendence allows you to take a couple choices. One, I can give you three commendations right now. It's called employee of the moment. One is that I, we can do all hands, which allows you to turn it into as many threes as you would like. Uh, which in this case would uh, apply for this alternate ability here. Uh, and then the, the last choice is that you can... Uh, 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 I just lost my... No, it's good because yeah. what I would really like to do is... I think Lorraine looks really... There <laughs> for me. I keep not being able to read your handwriting. I'm so sorry. It's You have such nice handwriting. It's an a. I know. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm dyslexic. Um, anyway... <laughs> I can spread this desire among other nearby targets to a similar effect. And Laramie, doesn't salt water look good to you? So I you're thought cruel. you said you didn't have drugs. <laughs> to my, to my people, this is uh, what you might call de rigueur. I need some of that. I'm not gonna watch over the table, but Laramie is. <laughs> <laughs> Do not. Oh God, I. Uh, it's like drinking very thin snot. No. Oh, is there actually salt in there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it just said it on the bottom. N- no, I made salt water. You did a bad. Because I thought it would, I thought it would discourage Caleb <laughs> from it. From, I thought if I made it actually Foolish. harm me, it would discourage the use of the this game so mechanic. Funny. <laughs> this is so funny. I love this. <laughs> <clears throat> Taylor, so, Taylor, my sweet summer child, mm-hmm. you done fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll see. As, I did, yeah, I did. As the president wrestles a merman for his bottle of salt water, we see that around the building, this building of natural harmonies, their original headquarters, vines begin smashing through the windows and growing out of the side of the building. A big, uh, a big uh, uh, satellite dish at the top, a flower blooms within it, and an enormous flower opens at the top of the building. These vines, uh, in a wave, crash down below the, uh, the first floor, cover up the front of the building, suggesting to you the anomaly is probably in there, but... There are vines in the way. Getting inside of this building is going to be a challenge. Things have escalated. You know, if you didn't take so long drinking water, we probably could have been in there already. I'm sorry. It's completely my fault. I it, acknowledge it that. It really is. And you? I don't even understand why, why you, are these drugs Laramie... so salty? <laughs> have as much as you'd like, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
wanted to be the president in the game. I, it's <laughs> so good. It's great. Um, so I, I'm going to turn to the building where there's all these vines. you got to look at your mic, babe. I know, I know. I'm just reading my paper, too. Um, do these vines look like regular vines? Yes. So even though they have been affected by an anomalous effect, these are mundane vines. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Laramie will then reach in, like, it, I'll handle this, and is going to walk up to the stairs where there's the vines and reach very menacingly in, uh, under his jacket and pull it back to reveal there is a pistol holster, but in it is a can of Lysol that he is going to pull out and hold and, like, spray on the vines. I want to use my, uh, eliminate move. Yes. I may remove an established mundane object uh, by targeting them with my gun, which is a can of Lysol. Uh, once they existed, uh, now they do not. So I roll uh, dy dynamism. You roll, yes, dynamism, and you will roll just a, all six. All six, okay. Uh, Every roll is always all six okay, dice. Okay, got it. Oh, wow, okay, cool. Uh, okay, so how many threes do we have? I have two threes. All right, so that'll be four chaos for me, uh, yes. And but it is a success. The one choice you have is if you want to spend a point of dynamism, you'll have three threes, which does not activate transcendence, mm -hmm. but does create a stable success, which means I don't get any chaos from it. I would like to do that. All right, so you erase one of those. I get no chaos. I remain at two, and you are able to use eliminate. So would you like to describe how these vines disappear? Yeah, so I I just start spraying, uh, and they uh, the vines like look like they're going to curl back, but it actually just kind of like shimmer and, and fizzle into like uh, what looks like mist in the morning. Like it's actually kind of beautiful. It looks like I'm spray painting away existence. And as I turn around, I'm going to flip the can of Lysol back into the holster and make eye contact with my team members and go, vote for me. I'm here to clean things up. Pull my jacket back. The two of you watching the president as the president... <laughs> yes. As the president Girl applauds. Yeah, yeah. turns yeah. around. The two of you see that behind these destroyed front glass windows, the entire building of people who were attempting to evacuate have just seen you eliminate the vines with a can of Lysol. This is going to be 30 loose ends. You'll have to find a good way to make these people not believe something magical happened in front of them. Oh, right. Uh, I'm going to turn around and see that they're standing there and do like a president wave. How you doing? <laughs> One person raises a single hand and waves as everybody looks stunned and they start climbing over the glass, the broken okay. glass, and looking at these other plants growing on their ceiling and looking at you. You all look like something like strange happened. What's, oh. what's going on? Uh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, there you are. Uh, uh, Rain, um, so uh, we were in the building and all of a sudden plants started, started growing everywhere. We're completely locked out of the top floor. I, I, think, I think the CEO is still stuck in, stuck in there. I think Harmony's still trapped. Okay, like, I mean, we can get her, but, like, there was literally, like, did you not see the news today about, like, today's, like, plant day? P plant day? Yeah, and I'm going to just, like, pull out my, like, newspaper that I just have on me. I'm going to use my printing press release. Yes, okay. <laughs> Read it to us. <laughs> yeah, so the ancient unwielding printing press is kept in an old recreation room on an unused floor agency headquarters. What's permission? I can use a press to print a story, which is then immediately published across all major... <laughs> <laughs> local publications. So, like, yeah, it's, like, Thursday. It's, like, plant day. Um, and, like, if you if you all would, like, like, I hate to say if you all would, like, be educated or, like, watch the news, you would, like, be able to keep up with developments like this, but, like, we've known this was coming. We, everyone was, why do you think I was, like, outside? Oh, yes. So, like, if you look, it's, like, right here. Didn't you notice the poster? And I said, right over there. And I use my ability, what's that over there? <laughs> you may say the phrase, what's that over there? And then describe an object that has always been in the room. <laughs> roll attentiveness. So yeah, roll. And Okay, yeah. Oh, my first roll. I yes. love yes. first roll of the game. Oh, I three, got, I got three, four, four threes. Four threes, which means three. I have two chaos. I get two chaos, which takes me back up to four. And uh, you get a success. So with yes. this, you have your additional three ability as well, if you'd like to use 
But you can read us the success, and then you can read that if you'd like. Oh, gosh. Uh, great. The success. The object can be anything that fits unobtrusively in the room. It can only feature details or information that you would know. There's a big poster done in, like, classic, uh, like, uh, pop art, uh, uh, <laughs> like, WPA style of, like... <laughs> Get hard for plant day. <laughs> and it's got today's date on it. Uh, Larry, did you make this poster? This like feels like a you thing. And anyway, sorry, keep going. <laughs> How could you walk past that beautiful poster every day and not notice? Um, I, uh, great, yeah, plant day. That makes sense, but wh what, what are they? Like, we were testing the new fertilizer here. Oh. Yeah, and we, like, tested it, and, like, we were expecting, like, a, gr uh, you know, like a, like a big boom in how it explodes, not explodes, like, how it grows or whatever, and it, like, it grew. Okay. This um, is just, like, mundane. Oh, I, 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 absolutely. Uh, I want to, I want to, <laughs> I want to turn and look at everyone. I've been standing at the top of the stairs, like, kind of listening to this, uh, formulating, gathering. And I'm going to turn and say, my fellow people in this building. Yeah? Speech. 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 On speech. this speech. day, speech. plant day, a Thursday, unlike the Thursdays before, we have come here to marvel at this technological advancement that will, in fact, help the lives of our fellow citizens through this technology sponsored by my campaign. We are able to grow plants at an exceedingly fast rate so that no one will have no plants. I would love for you to roll presents. <laughs> this, That's beautiful. This game is about gaslighting NPCs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm terrified I'm, by your ability to I'm corporate thinking, gaslight you language. You also are getting a so demerit. Many demerit. You're getting a demerit, but you are getting a commendation because it was a great I didn't get any three. No. <gasps> All right, Sarah. So here's our situation. A president failing? I don't believe it. I've never seen it happen. A disgraced former president? <laughs> Promising that everyone could have, not food, plants. No one, no one will have no plants? No one will have no plants. So here's the, here's the situation. You can spend a presence to fix that failure. You'll rotate one of those dice to a three. Okay. And I'll still get five chaos, oh but it will be a success. Uh, Just fail. Just if fail, you fail, you I get to make the hardest move that I want to. Just fail, you coward. Yeah, I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fail. Like, I, I feel like this is, we're not even in the building yet, so like now seems like a good time. <laughs> All right, so that gives me six chaos. Good night. I'm going up to 10. And uh, the, the <laughs> you begin delivering this speech, and as you talk, everyone in this room remembers that everything you've ever said on television yeah. was a lie. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this there is this like sinking expression on everyone's faces with every sentence you say because they are translating it all into its opposite with, within microseconds. No plants for anyone. <laughs> and uh, this guy hates plants. He just murdered a bunch of plants in front of us. You saw it. And I'm going to say that uh, people begin kind of scattering in fear because they don't believe that there's a plan. They don't know what's going on with the plants. They are seeing more vines start to grow slowly from the ceiling of their front lobby. And so a bunch of people just bounce. Ten of those loose ends are locked in. They are unchangeable for you. But the other 20 over the course of this session, if you find if overall at the end of this mission, you're able to find a way to clean it up. It's still possible. They haven't left. Okay. Ten of them are out of here. Uh, and I pass it back to you. I think that that resonated, and I anticipate that my numbers in this area will be better. Have you ever considered just like shutting the fuck up, Laramie? Just like even once in your life. No. I do not understand your people's relationship to your leaders. In the sea, we communicate and create a group mind with tiny body language motions and currents that we create. Oh, it's I mean, much am easier. I going to have that some like kind of I would like... like it. Wait, speaking of hierarchy, the CEO of the, of the company in the building is involved in some sort of horrible situation. Yeah, I was going to say we should like go up there. Yeah. You could just like beat me there. And I just, I just want you to know it was my idea first. Oh, of course. Okay, no, cool. Yeah, I can tell that you saw it. You should go. Yeah, I should go first? Let me yeah, go first actually. in case there's something dangerous in front. That sounds great. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> All right, so as you go into the lobby, this opening has been made by the gun, uh, and so you are able to pass into a beautiful, modern corporate lobby. There's a ping pong table. There's a juice I bar. I love this beautiful, modern corporate lobby. Have you seen the ping pong table the juice bar? <laughs> I'm actually... I'm going to take this moment, I'm going to spin three chaos, and I'm going to activate your reality trigger. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I'm getting triggered by reality. So, <laughs> so your reality trigger is that at any point, your phone can ring and one of your relationships can need you. Uh, in this case, you are getting to, you're going to get a call from, uh, from Brick, your rock climber boyfriend, played by Sarah. Yep. Uh, Sarah, I'm going to let you decide what Brick needs right now. <clears throat> Hey, babe. Yeah, uh, hey, Rick. Hey, yeah, um, I'm just, like, wondering where the fuck you put the granola. I mean, it's... I ate it? <laughs> you we ate out. I told you 20 yesterday. pounds of granola? No, Brick, I told you yesterday we finished the granola. I needed you to go buy more, and did you do it? No, I'm not talking... No, no I'm talking about the granola. You're talking about... You're talking about no, the No, Brick, mix. I'm talking about the granola. I don't think that you're talking about the granola. Tell me what the granola tastes like so I know that you're talking about the granola. So it has like a nutty flavor. Cor See, the nuts. Coral, as this conversation is happening on the phone, you are, uh, you are inspecting one side of the lobby. You see that this strange flower has opened behind uh, uh, Rain on the phone. And from the inside where the piston would be, this large spike is growing out of the flower. I am spending three, uh, I'm sorry, I'm spending four uh, chaos to create a minor anomaly. Minor anomalies do not have a domain like this or a focus. They just have a quality. This one is violent. And it will deal a lot of damage to Rain if something doesn't happen. <clears throat> and Rain is distracted on the phone. Uh, Mr. President, Mr. President. Yeah. I have great news. Yeah. Uh, a chance to use the ripple gun has presented itself. Okay. Over here. <laughs> and there's a rapidly like swelling spike uh, that's clearly anomalous growing out of this new flower. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's just a miracle. No, Brick. I really do think that I would know the difference between I like a nut and granola. I told you my rock climbing buddies were coming over tonight after we did some dirty dangles and I needed granola because <laughs> that's what we need. Anyway, the, the, the flower's still growing. <laughs> yes. Okay. And, uh, mm. and, and at this point, are you pulling out the ripple gun? Uh, no, because the yes. Mr. President has You 100% can have the ripple gun. Like, oh, uh, I have the briefcase. I think it's much funnier I like if getting it from Mr. A... President. Yeah, I, I think that's great. You got it. You pulled okay. it out of the thing. All right. I you can feel free not to fire this, though, okay. yeah, and no. I will just take the damage. It would be very funny. Remind me, th this will eliminate the minor anomaly, right? Yes, but if you use the ripple gun here, you cannot use it against the major anomaly. It has one charge. Okay, I've got an idea. Yeah, I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to hook it at that plant. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right. If you want to chuck it at that, that is going to be dynamism, because dynamism is your, your ability to be, like, physically dynamic in a situation, like a violent way. So this is dynamism. What do you get? No, one three. One three. Oh, thank God. It's going to give me five chaos back. Uh, so I have eight. But you do succeed. You chuck this harm is any amount of damage that would be serious to a mundane person. Violent anomalies have one stability, which means they can handle one harm. Getting hit in the head with a heavy object is perfect for one harm. This violent anomaly is about to hit you. Flying by, by you as you're talking on the phone, head completely turned the other way, is this old sci-fi 70s ray gun that just slams into a flower, crumpling the thorn, uh, and it wilts and falls to the ground. Randy like, just looks confused. I thought it was Rick, supposed I'm gonna to come I'm going to have to call back. you back. <laughs> <laughs> there are things going on, but, like, you could just go to Costco. It's, like, not a big deal. Bye. <laughs> you would just cut to, like... Brick in his apartment with like a bunch of sweaty dudes with like chalk all over their hands and being like, what? I don't know, man. <laughs> she said it was. She said it was in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Coral looks at Cor Coral looks at Laramie and it just says, Maverick. I think I just didn't get the wrist flick. I don't know. I was hanging out with the Australian ambassador for a while. He taught me a few things. <laughs> Laramie, I think you drop this and like this is sort of important to our mission. So if you could like. Maybe not drop it next time. Maybe, you know, I'm just going to hold on to the gun. If minor anomalies are appearing at an advancing rate, that could mean that things are generally escalating. I don't think anything's appearing. Okay. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. No, I think this was in your head. No. I, I got it, but, like, this I was in think your head. that we should come together and create a bipartisan okay, plan. Okay, shut up. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> 
So you head upstairs. Um, as you head up the stairs, you see that these plants are definitely continuing to grow. You move up the stairs. We're seeing the vines like grow down uh, in inverse as you move. Um, and as you get up to uh, the fourth floor of five, you don't you don't hit a lot of things in your way. You get up to the fourth floor of five. You hear a muffled voice from behind a pod uh, of like a, a, a pod that seems to have sealed a corner of this thing. Just a little. And uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but I am spending uh, five chaos to use the ability attract, which allows me to bring mundane beings into the anomalies domain. So, like, one of us should deal with that, but probably not me. Uh, yeah, Coral go goes up to the to the, the surface of the pod. Is that like is that how we're describing it? Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, and bangs on and says, "Great news." We're here. Plant, plant day has gone a little too well, uh, but don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. And you hear uh, the voice of Greta, the, uh, the fisherman's wife who taught you to hide from inside the pod say, If you could just, like, get me out of here, that'd be really nice. Greta! <laughs> it's me. It's Carl. Okay, Carl. 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 We've met before. Yeah, Carl. You taught me how to survive in the human world. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Oh, but, Greta. But it's very hard to breathe in here. Don't worry, Greta. I'm a getta. You out of there. Okay, Carl. Carl. Carl, I don't think now's the time to make jokes. Rain, rain. Yeah, great news. I know the person in the pod. Okay, that's like fantastic news. Thank you. So, like, how forgettable is she? <laughs> None. She's actually extraordinarily important to me. She taught me how to hide and to blend in okay, in the human sorry, world when sorry, I got I my legs. Ask, maybe you misunderstood the question. I was trying to ask, like, how important she was to you. I meant, like, to the world running. To the world. I'm not sure how you define the world of the self versus the world of the other. That is new to me. But to me, and what I perceive as the world, she is extraordinarily important. And I think we should help her escape from the pod. Okay, this seems like a U2 job, maybe. Uh, please yeah, please Laramie, help me. Laramie is going <laughs> to... I think that it's time that we go a little incognito. And as the intern, I just have unmitigated access to blank name tags. I'm going to pull out one and just pull out a pen, go over to a wall, and write on it, and slap it on. When you turn around, you see that I've written Ashton Kutcher on my name tag. So once permission, you may write the name of someone you met on today on a name tag and apply it somewhere on your person. Everyone except other agents will treat you as the named person <laughs> for as long as you bear the name tag. You can only wear one name tag at a time. Uh, I'm going to go over to the pod and just say, excuse me, but... Yeah, I believe that you've been pranked, <laughs> and I'm gonna open the pot with my bare hands. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can you can rip this pot up. It's just it's like plant flesh. <laughs> yeah, just, it was this easy to hold. I'm just, just gonna, I'm just gonna open the pod <laughs> and look and hello, it's me, Secretary of Defense Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> Yeah. And they say American lives don't have second acts. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I really love your work, Ashton. I love you, too. And I'm going to, like, pull, pull Greta out of the pod. We see that Greta's holding a pile of crystals and some receipts. She's been attempting to return all the crystals she's bought at the headquarters. Oh. I don't need these anymore. I don't think quartz is supposed to to bring good things into your life, and I don't think it's working. Are these actual quartz, or are they the same uh, plastic that these Jordan These are the had? same, like, cheap plastic <laughs> stones. Hey, my boyfriend also had shitty crystals. <laughs> Greta, where did you get these? I bought them here. I don't think you actually bought those here. <laughs> <laughs> they vertical integration. It's retail all the way up to corporate. Yeah, they got a little place in the bottom, <laughs> in the bottom for it, a little shop, you know, a kiosk. <laughs> Um, and so, and so, um, Greta, I need you to tell me, Ashton Kutcher, <laughs> if you would like us to finalize your return, as you have been pranked already today, and it seems like it's best that you go home and just take take your mind off the problem at hand. Yeah, you know, you look just like Ashton I Kutcher, am, and you are him, and I, I'm choosing to trust you in this I moment. I love my wife, Mila Kunis. Yeah, I would just like my $5 back. 
uh, I will. Can I pull out five dollars? Yes, can absolutely. I just say You've I have got five dollars. <laughs> absolutely. And hand Greta five dollars and tap her on the shoulder to send her on her, her merry yeah, way. Yeah, she starts making her way downstairs. <laughs> Girl waves. It was so good to see you. I hope we have more time to catch up later. Yeah, it's always great to see you, Carl. It's been a few years. <laughs> Laramie's gonna turn to Carl and say. When are these drugs supposed to kick in? I feel like nothing's changed. Salt water for your species will increase uh, dehydration, uh, ironically for you. Uh, and, uh, too much salt water will cause insanity, uh, nausea, diarrhea, and eventually death. Laramie just licks his lips in a really uncomfortable way and goes, okay. <laughs> just talking about it. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I don't even got up to spin chaos this time. Because I'm role playing. Yeah. You're committed. Do you know what we're doing here? We're role playing. <laughs> um, we, this is I'm like the annoying person that plays their paladin too well, but I'm dying instead. Yeah, yeah it's really <laughs> funny. <laughs> Profession. This is what a professional looks like. Everyone. This is a professional streaming experience. <laughs> <laughs> we're having so much fun, <laughs> and there's only one floor to go. Amazing. I, um. Well, you're doing some. Do you want to? Do you, do you well, walk no, ahead? No, I want to. I want to. I want to just strategize and plan as we are going to invade this office space. It is best to understand how the drones will strike in a certain kind of manner or whatever. And as <clears throat> former president, I feel like my experience lends itself in this moment. What do we know? We know that this company is selling very bad, dumb crystals. I mean, they're like fine crystals, but, you know, we're, we're not going to worry about it. I don't actually think that's why we're here. making plants grow at an accelerated rate. Rain, what have your business developments been getting up to? I mean, that's a great question. I don't really ask them, though. They just sort of tell me to sell a product I help. We also know that several people have left the building. This is where they work, yes? They weren't here for funsies. This isn't one of those community center places that I mean, capitalism is trying to destroy, is it? I am legally obligated job, to never enter a community center. It will ruin all of my lobbyist's best intentions for my campaign. <laughs> if you love your job, are you, like, really working? Who could say bigger I'm going to give you one commendation. The agency loves that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting so many commendations by being terrible. Caleb, yes. I, oh, we overheard an NPC conversation when we were on the ground floor of the CEO was with someone else, but I forgot the name. Uh, the CEO was with John, the, uh, the VP of marketing. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we should keep going. I think you should walk ahead. I have held too many complex sentences in my mind. I will need to power down <laughs> soon. Please, let me walk in front for you. I appreciate that. Okay, let's just go. How I don't do you really feel care. about being a general? Maverick. You uh, push open the door at the top of the staircase into the sixth floor penthouse. This entire floor has been renovated to, to be for the CEO. And there's a tiny waiting room where all along the wall, these beautiful, much thinner vines covered in these flowers that have opened and bloomed with eyeballs in the center all turn to look at the group of you as you enter. At the end of this hallway is a door. In the middle of the hallway is a tiny statue of a, uh, of a mountain uh, carved out of bronze. Uh, and right next to you, to the left and right, are two single chairs. And these eyes all turn with a little squick noise to like look that. at you. You know, my feet are tired. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a seat. Why don't you all deal with the, why don't you all deal with the trees right now? Or the, like, flowers. For how many flowers with you guys? We're talking uh, 200 along the walls. There's like that mountain statue though, too. There's like a mountain statue in the still? center where nothing, there's nothing special there, but along the walls are the thin vines with the eyes. Looking. I want to get as two chairs, mountain statue, yeah. walls well, covered with flowers like really, and, ice. and then a door at the end of the hall. Okay. There's only like really one chair because I'm sitting on this one, so you can't have. <laughs> Are it. you? Did you take one of the chairs? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> go for it. Go for are it. These, like, are the chairs by the? I'm trying to get like how much of like a ritual space have we entered into? Like, yeah. Well, yeah. This looks like it has been designed to like without the eyeballs. This has been designed by the CEO to intimidate you into feeling like you're moving through a space 
before you get to her office. Ah, uh, okay, but great. But here, there are the two chairs at the end of the door all the way at the end, and the eyes have made it much stranger as they stare at you directly. Yeah, y'all can go ahead. I'll just catch up. You don't want to come with? I mean, I did just say I will catch up, and I'm planning to, but I do want to sit first. No, you're right. You deserve a sit. Thank you. Mr. President? I feel like all the eyes of the nation are on me right now. I, I want to walk up and I want to look at this statue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is a statue of a uh, of a mountain with no label. It's a it's a bronze statue that looks like it was casted uh, mm-hmm. and then like placed here. And around it are tiny, like slightly more detailed and slightly cheaper, uh, like pieces of environment, like little trees. Uh, it looks like it's intended to give you a feeling of beautiful corporate serenity. That's Everest. I don't think that's accurate. No, like, my boyfriend climbs mountains. Well, he climbs rocks, really, but, like, I know what a mountain looks like. That's Everest. Rain, is the mountain usually here? I mean, I don't... How'd they get it so tight? I don't so know this to you, but I don't think this is... Yes, actually, the mountain's always here. This seems easier. They must have some kind of shrink ready. I'm working with the smartest people I know. Perhaps that's as good a guess as any. We should try to stick to the middle of the corridor. I'm going to call that confidently failing, and I'm going <laughs> to give you a con- accommodation. Thank you. I've been trying to embarrass myself for the benefits of others, or for others' benefit, and I don't know how well it's been coming Well, you're across. welcome You're welcome to call it out at any time. Okay, I'll An important do my best. feature of being an employee of a company who cares is monitoring yourself and others. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so I feel like, I don't know what the statue's about. I don't know what all these eyeballs are about. I'm going to look at, what do you think? I think that we should prepare. And I grab one of the other chairs, and I use my ability called dynamism, um, <laughs> uh, uh, which allows me to, like, sort of flip an object through alternate versions of itself. Yes, you might also think. like. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. No, that's, Sorry. The ability is called You Might Also Like, uh, and I'll, I'll roll dynamism to determine if I, if I get to do it. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to flip this chair through alternate realities and see what <laughs> it Amazing. becomes. Three threes. You guys are so yes. good at rolling. All right. I'm so, so bad. So to finish talking about the options there, employee of the moment gives you three commendations right now. Circle back lets you recharge three of your quality assurances if you'd spent them, and you can make this roll count as any number of threes. The... I, so I want, and on every third, <laughs> I want Aleph enough threes. How, I want all the threes. You have to be able to say the number. But okay, okay, that's fair. Uh, well, you know. So, yeah. Um, uh, on every third three, you may give the animal an additional. Okay. Fuck yes. Okay, I'm thinking the shape of a chair. I'm th- you know, you got you can hold the back. Yes. Imagine like a lion tamer. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, so we're we're gonna do like I'm doing like. <laughs> 300 threes, uh, uh, because I'm going to change the chair a lot. So I'm flipping through the chair. The chair like is changing shape rapidly, like a flip book, uh, and other parts are coming, and then it finally settles on a weed eater uh, that has like... <laughs> That has like chainsaw uh, uh, instead of like a weed instead of like a wire. There's like you know five, four foot long chainsaws coming at the bottom. Yes. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> and so are you going to make more of them for everybody? I can do that. That's because what this does is you may duplicate the object oh, with an additional variant. I, I just saw additional variant. Uh, duplicate the object. So yeah, and then it goes bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh, and then like we we have now three different brands of chainsaw weed eaters, one for each of us. Mine has you know, a big old Made in America sticker on it. Yes. <laughs> You know, Coral, I they don't do all have feel to be like, maybe I don't see this enough, but this was actually good work from you this time. I think those drugs finally kicked in. <laughs> Coral can't take a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. Rain was being ironic. Everyone stares at Coral. She hates me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I love using this. I'll do better next time. I'm sorry. We hear the revving of these weed eaters as you make your way toward the door. Uh, every, everyone has four sticks. You have yep. to move along. Are you attacking the <laughs> eyes as well, or are you leaving them alone? Hundred percent, I am. I am like the second I get it, I'm. I just like you hear like uh, the opening like uh, chords of like it's like it's like a nom flashback as I like pull this chain again. I am 37. <laughs> 
I forgot. I forgot. And just Sarah, mow, no one can hear you. Mow through these vines. You mow through. As you do, you're like carving along the edge. You feel the whole building rumble in response as the eyes on the other side of the hall like wince as you carve through them. Uh, but nothing immediately attacks you. Yeah, it's just fortunate sun blaring it like all around us as I'm just taking them out for America. <laughs> Maverick. <laughs> Kelpie. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> she, I imagine that there's like some kind of like leaf eyebrow on the eyes and they, and they sort of bend back so they look sad <laughs> after being murdered. <laughs> yes, exactly. Just a little sad face as the whole building rumbles beneath you and the door waits. Who's opening the door? <laughs> I mean, I'm still sitting. <laughs> you have a badge. Yeah, okay, fine, I'll do it. Um, and I, like, unzip my little jacket, and under it I have a uniform on. <laughs> uh, I have an ability uniform. I have a uniform that clearly marks me as another vocation in a non-specific way. I can use this uniform to sneak into any situation a worker of that type would be welcome and receive one free quality insurance. I just have on a uniform for this company. Yes, absolutely. So the door, uh, which appears to be locked, I'll give you a free quality assurance on a roll to attempt to open it as the owner, which is a fun way to interpret that for now, I think. And I'll call that persistence. Okay, cool. You are making sure you get through this locked door. Three. You have a free quality assurance, Two. which lets you take that into three threes, which is a stable success. Perfect. Yeah, so there's no chaos from that. There's no chaos from that. And uh, yeah, we'll say the agency adjusts it for you to wear this door, even though it's the CEO's, has a scanner to see if you're wearing the uniform of someone who works here. It scans across you up and down, gives a little thumbs up on its screen, and the door clicks unlocked. <laughs> like it was hard. <laughs> <laughs> As this door, uh, as it clicks and locks, actually, the, uh, the the force of something behind the door kind of pushes it open at you, and you see this pile of vines kind of, like, froth open, uh, like something out of a Little Shop of Horrors scene, just, like, flopping forward, pushing the door open, and you, by opening this door, have entered the Anomaly's domain. The domain is a specific place where the Anomaly has additional power. Mostly this game is about finding the domain because we didn't have as much time. I didn't make this as much of an investigation to figure out where it was. Right. But uh, the, uh, the domain gives the anomaly a couple of abilities. Primarily, all chaos I spend, I now get triple from. The second this door opens, I'm spending my three chaos that I have to activate an ability that costs eight. Yeah, go for it. It's called Displace. Displace, uh, I'm going to read it out loud. A group of targets are brought into a surreal space created by the anomaly. No one can be harmed physically here, but the anomaly has full control over what they experience for a brief period. All of you fall into uh, the floor as if it has just turned into like a uh, like jelly. You are just like sinking into it, and a second later, you are in this gorgeous glade. It is like covered in these beautiful flowers. There's grass growing. You see this beautiful oak tree standing at the center, which you recognize because it was the exact image that was part of the cutout in the photo shoot you were taking yeah. today. At the oak tree, scattering the ground are a bunch of acorns, and a light breeze blows past the three of you. I mean, it's lovely here, but I think you took us into the wrong building. I've done it again. The bad thing. Yeah. But great news. No, we're not dead yet. I mean, we might be. Do you recognize this space? No. <laughs> So it can't be the hell of a relationship granola list that you find yourself in. No, I don't think so. Okay. That would imply this is my fault. And I really, I truly, and like, Laramie, I hate to do this to me. I, I really think it's your fault. The good hallmark of a leader, someone who is able to take up the, the helm of an entire nation and bring comfort and peace to all its citizens so they might rest well at night is problem delegation 
I am delegating the responsibility of this to Carl, to Ashton Kutcher, and I tap my name badge and continue to walk in. I want to figure out what the heck this room is. Yeah. Where am I? Yeah. So you uh, you walk forward and you approach this tree, I assume. Yeah. Uh, as you walk forward, an acorn from the ground, as you get closer, lifts up a little bit in the air. Every step, it sort of follows about the length of your step up until as you get close, it is right at your eye level. What is this old dude head? I just want to, like, it just looks like an acorn. Uh-huh. Uh, I want to get out my gun, uh, my can of Lysol, and I want to try and see if I can get rid of it. I want to see. Okay, so here's one thing. Earlier I told you mundane. Yeah. Technically, the only way to find out is to try. Yeah, exactly. So roll. Huh. I got two threes. All right, that's a success. I get four chaos, but nothing happens. This is an anomalous target. Okay, gotcha. Uh, I'm gonna look uh, and say, we found the target. And just take a couple steps back. Does the acorn like lower? Uh, the acorn walks with you. It moves, as you step backwards, the acorn moves and stays at the same spot in front of your face. Do I still have that terrible chainsaw on me? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Carl, I'm gonna need you. To, I need to ask you to do something for me, and I don't want you to ask any questions. Okay, hit me with that chainsaw. Carl hits you with the chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> it passes smoothly through you. Oh shit! That was unexpected. I summoned holograms by accident. This is, in fact, <laughs> your fault. I'm glad you took the blame. I'm so sorry. This acorn, from it, you hear a tiny voice say, Kill her. Do we all hear this, or just the president? You hear this. Just the president. It's very small. Immediately, with like, out hesitation, out loud, I already tried it once, she just threw up all the coffee that I gave her. Not her. <laughs> I'm going to turn and look at Rain Sparkle. Do I get just a happy little acorn, like... The acorn uh, shifts with you. You see, just it's like there's no face on it, but it twists a little bit to look with you at Rain, and it says, her eventually, but not her now. I need help. And then there is a snap of sound, a rip in this space, this glade opens, and you are seeing a window into the office that you should have entered. Inside of the office, you see the CEO sitting in a chair as John uh, is sort of like pacing around her making calls. There is a perfect sphere of thorns around them in this office. The entire office has been full of plants, but they are not moving. The acorn says, I can't touch her kill her. Is it just these two hearing it, or am I also hearing it? All of it? you now. It gets louder. <laughs> I want to dig my nails into my own hand <laughs> hard enough to cause myself physical harm. Yeah. The anomaly has full control over your physical experiences here, so as you try, Jeez. there is no pain. Damn. <sighs> Alright, okay, I have a question about the world. Absolutely. Okay, so, um, we've... As, as agents of the agency. Yes. Um, uh, uh, yeah, agents. Uh, like, how, how rare are serious anomalies like this? So major anomalies are what cause the group of you to be brought in as a field team in this place. And for your job, you're seeing them pretty regularly. Uh -huh. I would say once a month for you. Right. Um, but the things that they want are often different. The ways they express themselves are very different. And this is the first time any of you have had one ask you something. Right. Uh, that feels like it's new. Yes. Uh, and uh, are there ever, like, two anomalies in the same space? Yes. That can happen. It's uncommon, but it can happen. Okay. Um, okay. Uh... If, if we do that, what will you do? If you kill her, my mother is protected. I mean, we love moms here, don't get me wrong. But I don't think that's a great idea. Why not? Because I don't think it's a great idea. <laughs> well, I 
do. No one she wants you. to kill my mother, and so it is only fair. Why can't, why can't you touch her? I do not know. I mean, we can go investigate at least. Oh, we're going to keep our options open. Very well. But know that if you do not kill her, I will kill you. And then the glade dissipates around you. The vines in front of you part. And that CEO, Harmony Randall, is sitting there in the center of this room, poking at her phone. And she says, Oh, good. Are you here to fix this? Yes. Great. <laughs> get started, because I would really like to get back to work. That new headquarters is not going to build itself. No, it won't. You're right. Hello, I am Ashton Kutcher. Oh, my, oh my gosh. Ashton Kutcher, was, did I have a meeting? Uh, yes. Ye- yes, you did. You, you definitely had a meeting with me, Ashton Kutcher. Because uh, I was interested, <clears throat> and I want to pull out the fake plastic crystals that Greta had that I gave her $5 for. Yes. Uh, I don't want to pull them out. These uh, particular items, I feel like they are um, <clears throat> particularly interesting to me, Ashton Kutcher. And I would just like you to tell them, tell me everything about them so I can make them my entire personality. <laughs> and I put, them on, <laughs> I put them on the desk. You come forward and hand them to her. And as you do, uh, you see that her, her, uh, she sort of shifts a little bit and your attention is drawn to a necklace where she has this like very large, very real crystal around her neck. It is a green rock, uh, and she shifts and looks at the stones, and she says, oh, well, if it's a standard personality deal, I can draw up the paperwork. Yeah, I just really would like to know what these are. Oh, sure, sure. They have sure. Uh, captured my imagination. I feel like I should do a documentary about them. And here's, here's my question for you, Ashton. Would you like me to give you the response for someone who would like to be able to not lie, or would you like me to tell you the truth? Come if again. <laughs> if you're going to be representing my crystals, mm. would you like me to tell you the answer that allows you to not lie because of what I told you, or would you like me to tell you the truth? I would like the truth. Oh, well, they're plastic. Mm. Oh my God, and they suck. Talking about plastic, that little green necklace you have, that's so cute. Is that Zara? Is that Zara? <laughs> no, no. Uh, back when we were thinking about doing real rocks, I found this at one of our suppliers. I thought it was particularly nice. They gave it to me as a little gift. Yeah, it was like, oh, it was a gift, so, so it was free. Yes, yes, free. If free is something you say about something that you worked your entire life to get into a room for, then yes. I mean, it does look <laughs> like you didn't spend much money on it. That's all I'm trying to say. Have you, have you considered changing it? I get the feeling that you are trying to get under her skin. This is a very confident woman. Uh-huh. Uh, I would suggest that if you want this to definitely work, you're going to need to use empathy and have the agency assist you in this way. Um, but uh, if you want to just role play it straight out, you get the sense she's pretty confident. Yeah, the, they can help me on this. Yeah, great. Do it. Roll a d6 or 6 d4. Three. We got one three. That's five chaos for me. Hell yeah. Good night. Oof. I love giving him chaos. Are you kidding? <laughs> I know. It's great. It's great. Um, I'm glad. That's my fa- one of my favorite parts of this game. Um, so you, uh, yeah, it, I can describe if you'd like, or you can tell me how the agency makes this definitely work. You can go ahead. Great. So you, uh, you start giving her this, uh, this speech, and the agency's power sort of like draws her brain back to the exact moment in middle school when she was ridiculed for the cheapest necklace she ever received. Her best friend actually made her a necklace, uh, wove it out of, out of these like uh, rainbow threads into a very, uh, a very tacky but simple necklace that she was very happy to wear until she was bullied for it, at which point she realized that wearing it was a very stupid and bad idea. And as you speak, she is brought back to this exact moment in her history, and she says, Ugh. You know what, this is why we hired you. I know it is. You are always honest in the ways that I need. Sometimes not the ways I want to hear, yeah, I'm but always the ways that I need to Literally hear. never lying to people. <sighs> Here, just, just hand it to me, we'll get you a nicer one. No, at this, you're right, it's hideous. If I give it to you, I'm just handing you trash. No. I'll hand it to him. I'm actually fine with that. <laughs> uh, she takes this necklace off, uh, she, t- she hands it to you, you notice as this moves, 
the edge of the sphere of thorns moves a little bit. Ruh roh. The sphere is centered on this stone. Yeah, you don't want to have this. I put it in that you know that little briefcase you have, that little like to go bag I gave you. Remind me the bit with the briefcase. What's the briefcase? So in? the normal briefcase, as long as the anomaly is willing, exhausted, and not fighting, it can take an anomaly and hold it. But it can also only hold one. Okay. Uh. Uh. Yeah. So I take the briefcase. Uh. I open it and I say, I think I can take the necklace in here. Yeah. Allow that's... me to unburden you from the necklace. Uh. Certainly. As she lowers the necklace, you see the thorns growing towards the briefcase. Uh huh. And I get it real fast. All right, you catch the rock. That second, the thorns at the edge of the room pierce the CEO, and oh, she is murdered. Oh, that's why. Oh, I get it now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She, she is murdered in front of you. The CEO has died. John looks terrified. He has been standing off to the side, um, just like like uh, listening to you have this meeting and confused why you're talking about necklaces, and then all of a sudden he is just like, whoa, 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 whoa what is happening? Oh, no. I'm going to borrow? That that, yes, that was me. Great. <laughs> Oh, I'm you gonna perceived her life as more valuable because of her leadership status. Yeah. Don't, don't worry about this. I'm going to borrow her. <laughs> I'm going to use my ability borrow. I could choose a feature of a mundane target and take it for myself. Um, their face, their voice, their love, their fingerprints. Now I have it, and they don't roll duplicity. Yeah, what do you want to borrow? Um, her general uh, appearance. Great. <laughs> You're going to borrow her look. That's uh, two threes. That's a success. I get four chaos. And I'll say now, I was able to do that because of the chaos ability kill. If I have 10 chaos, a mundane life is ended regardless of defenses. Um, Even though in story that is something I could do, uh, the chaos allows us to make sure that it is escalating at a rate related to the chaos that you have created in the story. Yeah, I love Um, that. So by spending uh, four points out of what I had before, I am able to use kill, and then you've added an additional four for me. So I am back up to nine. and uh, the, uh, you now are able to take, uh, I think you have an additional three above one ability as well. Yeah. So um, you are able to choose one of the abilities uh, under that list. Yeah, the effect's just gonna last an additional hour. Great, so you have two hours where you look exactly like the CEO. I'm sorry, I think you just saw, <sighs> did you think this, <sighs> I'm sorry, I have a body double. <laughs> you can like, prank. Ashton Kutcher. I should have known. Yeah. I thought, I thought of course we had some kind of deal going on, but there's no. Why would Ashton Kutcher just want to buy plastic? Yeah. Why would you want to buy plastic rocks? I was thinking. I thought. I'm sorry to say this, but I thought that you were just an idiot. That's just my online persona. That makes sense. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm, I'm glad. Is this? What is this? And he gestures to the the body. Oh, it's fake. We have those made specifically for the show. I mean, he has them made specifically for the show. I'm using a royal we. <laughs> oh, abs- yeah, abs- absolutely. I, uh, I think I should bring this conversation to a screeching halt and invite you to leave the premises as we do wrap up post production. That is a commendation for you. Congratulations. Um, and uh, you, uh, you, <laughs> you, you, start, you start leading him out of the room. The two of you who remain in the room, uh, you see that this uh, anomaly begins kind of like the, 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 the vines begin retracting and retreating, and soon they have all shrunk down to a little acorn on the, uh, on the windowsill of this room. The acorn, however, leaves two vines that are both attached to the window above it, and it is swinging just a little bit. This acorn plans a to leave. murder acorn. I think you should grab that. The acorn? Yeah. The normal briefcase is locked. The normal briefcase is locked because you, you can only fit one. No, I understand that. I still think you should grab that. Is it safe to... In our training, what's the policy on grabbing an anomaly? What's the getter policy? You did just watch an impale a woman yeah. from, yes. like, yeah. every I, angle. Should, we've practiced not getter in it. You don't just grab the anomaly. It depends on the anomaly. In this case, I would say yes. You you have personally viewed yeah. some murders happen at a very yeah. easy rate. Welcome to the agency. Fine. Lesson number one. Don't I'll grab deal it. with it. I fire the gun. You're going to fire the ripple gun at the acorn? <laughs> because Shit. I took it from her. From yeah. Her. All right. Let's leave this. I need you to roll dynamism. Yeah. And you, this is our first time this is coming up, which is funny. You have burnout in dynamism, which means you don't have any quality assurances. Uh huh. This means whatever you run, whatever you roll has negative one three. Okay. That's fine, because I'm gonna roll all threes. All right, you got I three did roll three. It cancels transcendence. So I get four chaos, but 
Uh, you are able to fire uh, this ripple. I, it takes me up to 13, uh, which in the moments as the ripple gun fires allows me to spend in the domain the most expensive chaos effect. <gasps> Shit, overwhelm. The, the, the one Caleb used earlier is even highlighted on the format of the page. And there's a higher, t there's a, like there's yes. like a warning sign next to this one. And now we're going to another one that's worse. Yes. Yeah. All right, okay. cool. This cool. one is called overwhelm, oh, which good. is different from kill because an anomalous life can be ended regardless of defenses. Shit. As you fire this bullet, a thorn from behind you pierces your heart <gasps> and you are attacked. Is this harmed? This is harm. Great, I'm gonna use universal <laughs> recipient. <laughs> when you are harmed, you can roll persistence. Um, on a success, I can select a nearby living human habit to attack my <laughs> Yeah, roll it. Um, I actually have persistence, I believe. I do, cool. Am I still in the room? Everyone is still in the room. Hey, You're on the you way out. I got, friend. I'm not kidding. I did just pull three threes on You've that. You've got okay. Triscendence. So you can make this, you can have three commendations. You can make, you can add as many threes as you want. Or uh, you can, uh, the, the the other one doesn't really matter in this case. Yeah. I, I just have one request, How do we Keegan? define, one sec. How do we define nearby? Nearby means uh, anyone you can see. Okay. Yeah. I just, one request, can one of them be me, please? I cannot hurt an anomaly with it? Oh no, I could. Not, yes, it's human, so I'm you are human. still, in a way, human. This I'm is so sorry, this is I'm actually, gonna I take three to commendations, and I'm just gonna kill the guy you were driving. <laughs> yeah, that's your relationship, John. Oh, that is my relationship. That's your boss. I'm so sorry, you're dead, Sarah. <laughs> Hey, but I'm not, because I'm gonna use quick draw. When something tries to harm you, I retaliate and roll initiative. Do it. This is so fucking funny because you're about to kill me, right? I didn't get any threes. Time out. But you have some dynamism. You have two left, so you can spend one. Oh, initiative. Yeah, you can spend yeah, initiative. I want to spend three. one at least to get. So, that three. will you read quick draw to us? On a success, you shot first. The aggressor is harmed before their attack, and they do not succeed. But I would argue that the aggressor is not Rain Sparkle. <laughs> it's the acorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what we have here, Universal Recipient allows you to take damage but transfer the like actual effect of that damage to someone else. So it would impale you. Okay. By sending it to you, it did trigger this ability. As it's about to impale you, you pull out your other gun My and you fire off. it. This ability works on anomalies uh, because it is in response. So you are able to, in that second, Ripple Gun's firing, it's coming to kill you. Uh, you actually beat that bullet, that bullet of the ripple gun. Quick draw. We've with, already established quick draw yes. in cannon. <laughs> yeah. Wait. So with your Lysol, I just wanted to describe this the scene. Yeah. So we have the air corn. This is one point. It yeah. attacks me. Yeah. That's the second point. I attack. I attack. You Laramie self selflessly deflect. And then Laramie <laughs> hits the acorn. It's another triangle. Yes. yes. And so the acorn disintegrates at your attack disappears in the wind and the agency is pleased. At the end of this, uh, we you have succeeded at your mission uh, and you are now allowed to leave and if there's any last things you want to do to wrap up loose ends, I would like can. to argue that I brought uh, the Acorn's murder plans to a screeching halt. That's another commendation for you. You should check, Taylor. Is there anything of yours that we did not? Oh, I mean, are you kidding me? I have my, my he, comment. I get, when I help someone unburden themselves or when I take the blame. Yeah, I get you've taken the blame so many times. I'm the Scrooge McDuck. You, of, you I, said out loud, can I help take some of your burden <laughs> from yes, you? And yeah. I was like, notice I me, think if I give you less than five, yes, <laughs> yes. that's got to be. Um, all right. Uh, so is there anything else you want to do to wrap up these loose ends, or are you going to eat that other 20? Um, no, I'm going to go downstairs because I no. still look like the CEO. Yes. <gasps> yes. Yeah. Shit. Yes. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Yes, we're so happy you're safe. Yeah, no, this is like just a training exercise. What? For, for what qual qualities? Oh, because like plant day was like supposed to be today, but you, like, you know, we moved it to next week. It, it didn't get out, but like we did move it to next week. We did want to see how you're we going to handle it. You all did not do well today. So I'm going to need you to sign these NDAs for me. Oh, and I, I, I am from the Plant Day Agency, and I would like to take full res responsibility for what happened here today. P poor planning is bad. Poor planning is bad, and this is sort of your fault, but we are going to have my staff sign NDAs. Our partnership is very important to us, 
at the Plante Agency. Plants are like the kelp of land. They are like the kelp of land. I mean, yeah. kelp is a plant. You know, we don't have to get into it. It's fine. Everybody at your orders begin <laughs> signing these papers. They go down, they sign these indies. A's. You can feel the agency's burden of loose ends <laughs> lifting off you one at a time. Um, uh, and as, uh, as this mission ends, uh, you receive a call from yeah. your general manager with just a, with just a short, uh, immediate piece of information, yep. which is that they are uh, filing some paperwork to make your disguise permanent and put you in charge of this company, and oh, it yeah. is non-negotiable. Okay, sure, 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 sure. Uh, The golden I, handcuffs. Yes, and I need to grab uh, one other thing for the group of you real quick, and if there's anything else you want to handle, you can, but I need to grab something. Sure. I am calling Br Brick. Brick. Uh, the, the, the phone, the, 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 there's no answer. You call seven times, Brick does not no, answer. I would not call more than once, first of all. Okay. But I do call once, and then I just send a message that says, you're dumped. And I try to call uh, Greta to see if she's still in town, because she can only be a few blocks away, and I would love to talk to her. It rings one and a half times and then goes to voicemail. <laughs> Fully. I, I do invite you to join uh, my, my cabinet, uh, because I think that you do incredible work, and you, you well, really, uh, really do take blame very well. Thank you. I think Useful. I'd be great. I think I'd be great as perhaps maybe I could be in charge of the Olympic diving team. I have great contacts in this space. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm going to definitely keep you in the no. defense department so when okay. this shit goes south, I do have someone to pin this. No, Larry, right. I do have one question for you. Can you explain what a cabinet is for me in the context you're using it? It is not, as Sal explained to me, where I keep all my little guys, my <laughs> weird little dudes. <laughs> Okay, I did, I did believe that's what you thought it was, so I am glad Sal explained it to you. Sal did explain it. It did take a minute. Uh, because Only it one. is, you do have dudes, but they're not your weird little dudes. It's different. Maverick. <laughs> and at your final meeting, when you return and meet with your general manager, uh, you are presented, like in every mission, Coral Powder Milk, the certificate of most value for yes. receiving the most commendations that I did not talk about during the game because I was very silly. Thank you so much, but... I think Rain has earned it much more than I have. Uh, you, see that, you see that your manager, Caleb Zane Hewitt, watches that exchange and says, uh, well, that's very interesting because, Rain, you are receiving a notice of probation. Oh, my God, but I'm not actually Rain Sparkle. <laughs> I'm Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> I'm actually the CEO of this company. Uh, <laughs> of the company we just came back from. Uh, and and uh, he looks at you and says very seriously, if you would like to transfer to the CEO department, you are welcome to fulfill, <laughs> fill CEO a report. Department. That's one of our competencies. <laughs> yeah. uh, Amazing. So uh, that is a game of Triangle Agency. This uh, done wonderful. as quickly as we could. <laughs> this was incredible. I loved it. I loved this it so much. This was so much fun. A ton of Thank fun. Thank you so much. Um, one of the things that I want to highlight for people who are looking, uh, who are watching, is uh, that a lot of the things like the commendations, demerits, uh, some of our skills, I would be working a little harder to monitor those as we went. We had a little more of a, mm -hmm. of a wiggle room and time. We are live at PAX. There's a lot going on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, and that there are uh, small ways that they would be able to spend these commendations uh, and, some, and some ways that these demerits also change their characters. Uh, currently available uh, in this book, but will be expanded uh, when we do a full version that we're hoping to kickstart in 2023. Cool. Yeah. Ooh. Among with lots of other stuff, there's lots of rules in here. The uh, some other fun things, the the uh, field agent manual and the general manager's toolkit are uh, intended to be read separately and only by the people who are being the GM. Mm -hmm. Some of the things motivating me are things that I didn't even say because they are not mentioned to the players. Ooh. So it is uh, it is worth bringing up that uh, you're welcome to read it all if you want. But if you're making a group, I highly recommend only the GM reads the GM toolkit. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, sick. Thank you so much for coming in and playing this game with us. I loved this it. This was a blast. I, this is delightful. This you, is very good. Y'all are all amazing. And the, the speed at which you uh, picked up these, this completely <laughs> bananas, in my opinion, rule set that I know is fully out there, I really appreciate Yo, it. Yo, it speaks to your credit as a GM. I would do anything for Coral. <laughs> yes, I know yes. Coral wouldn't let me, exactly. but I would. Exactly. <laughs> But I would. Uh, I, thank, yeah, thanks so much for having me play. Yeah. I, love, I fucking love, like, uh, narrative surreal powers and yeah. abilities. I love it. 
one of my favorite things to play with, and these are so great. Mm -hmm. I just want to, like, I wish we had time to just go through all the stuff we didn't get a chance to do because every single one is so much fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I love this. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. And I also have, like, 13 chaos left, so you can drink as much as you. <sighs> like, oh, yeah. yeah. You shouldn't. I'm going to tell you, you <laughs> no, shouldn't. Okay, gotta... before you drink, we should do outros because yeah, you're going to be pointless for, like, five minutes after this. Hey, I'm Taylor Moore. Uh, you can follow me, Taylor.biz on Hive. <laughs> Please listen to all the Fortune Horse productions. They're so good. Yep. Taylor, where can the people find you? You can find me. I'm at C, uh, at C Zane H on Twitter. Uh, you can also find me at Haunted Table. Uh, we, our itch is available. It's very easy to find. Haunted Table, Triangle Agency. Love Would it. you like some more? <laughs> <laughs> Rule of threes, man. <laughs> Um, this was a blast. Uh, yes, until thank you. next time. Uh, thank enjoy you. your pizza. Thank y'all so much. <laughs>